What's up, Sooner Nation? Welcome back to the Sooner Surge, the place you can go to and count on for all your Sooner sports needs. Here today to talk about the most recent commit for the University of Oklahoma softball program. We'll get to that in a second. Before we do, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Check out the Fan Stop at thefanstop.com. Sign up for the Shirt of the Month Club. Use code SURGE for 10% off your first three months and get on board with your officially licensed OU apparel. Patty Gasso statue went up last week uh, and now uh, a commit in the 2026 class. You saw the Go Boomer tweet that went out earlier and now you have the commitment of Malaya Majum Finch. Everyone knows that name because Jenny Finch uh, is her aunt and, and that is a name that's kind of been ingrained in the minds of, of softball fans, softball lore. Uh, for many years, the Olympic champion, uh, Jenny Finch, and now her niece has committed to the University of Oklahoma out of Fullerton High School. Uh, a, a great commit for the University of Oklahoma 2026 class. If you saw Jackie Wins posted a, a picture of Malaya sitting there at Love's Field in front of all the trophies and all the hardware, it's not an easy, it's not a hard sell, I might say, to to recruit at the University of Oklahoma when you have a statue of the head coach that's recruiting you. You've got all the hardware. You've got the best venue uh, in the nation, best fan base in the nation. And now OU is able to land Malaya Majum Finch, uh, a pitcher out of Florissant High School, uh, someone with very great ERA, also a great hitter. But she can throw every pitch there is uh, out there, great repertoire of pitches. And now she's the newest commit to the University of Oklahoma, Jason. Yeah, she. you mentioned earlier about uh, she throws everything. She throws everything, like you said, screwball, curveball, drop ball, fastball. Her fastball, I think, in 2023 was measured at 67 miles an hour. She's an imposing force. I mean, she's big. I mean, I think she's like 5'11 now probably. Uh, she. Uh, it, you mentioned two-way player. She is a true – she could be a dominant two-way player, Jeremy. I think she's that good at the at the plate. Uh, so it'd be interesting to see will they do that? Will they hit hit her and and use her as a pitcher? That'll be interesting. Uh, you know, I was reading an article where uh, you know when she steps up to play, outfielders back up because she's got a lot of pop. Uh, I'm sure batters back up when she pitches. She's very imposing. Uh, like I said, high velocity pitcher. Uh, just unbelievable athlete. Uh, and, and, you know, she came to the camp, I believe, at Oklahoma in August. Uh, and now she's committed to Oklahoma. And there's no telling what she's going to do over the next few years before she ends up at Oklahoma. But she's going to continue to climb the rankings. She's going to continue to dominate at the plate and pitching. And, man, this is a name everybody needs to start remembering as of now. Yeah, she played elite travel ball team, Corona. Uh, she's, like you said, Jay, a two-way player, and it's it's the name that – you you mentioned it's a name that people need to start remembering. The names that everyone remembers right now at the University of Oklahoma are the Kenzie Hansen, Jada Coleman, Tiari Jennings, Riley Boone, uh, Kelly Maxwells, Jordy Balls, uh, Lauren Chamberlain, Jocelyn Allo, Grace – I mean, I'd go on at Grace Lyons, Riley Boone. Like, we, we could go on and on. But those names – as great as they were, and, and maybe there will never be any better, OU is about winning championships. They've got four straight. They're going to continue to be in the championship mindset and have the championship mindset. In order for that to happen, though, you've got to keep recruiting at a high level. Patty Gasso has shown she can recruit at a high level across the country, continuing, pull, continuing pulling people out of the West Coast uh, all across the nation, really. And, and this is another example. And, and Jay, although it's a couple of years away, now you have some pitchers, Audrey Lowry. You now have Malaya here. It's you, you can't always land them out of the portal. OU's going to land out of the portal like they will continue to do. But it's great to recruit at a high level pitchers. And, and I think it's very interesting, Jay, because you mentioned Malaya's ability to be a two-way player. You haven't really seen that. At Oklahoma, Jordy Ball could hit. They didn't really use her much in that role. Uh, it will be interesting moving forward because she definitely has the ability to do both. 
Oh, she for sure has an ability to do both. And I think you might see that. I mean, you, you don't see it very often. I don't think in college in women's college softball anymore, but uh, you mentioned some of the arms they got coming up, Jeremy. I mean, they continue to load up at pitching uh, and hitting all of it all around. It's just, it's weird at Oklahoma this year because you have all the big names that are gone. And like you said, you're going to have to start building uh, a new uh, dominant, uh, I would say dominant classes that stick together for four years. Uh, that's interesting with the transfer portal the way it is now. But man, Malaya is unbelievable talent. And, and, you know, I read an article about with about her because she's related to Jenny Finch. A lot of people say, well, she's going to be good. She's related to Jenny Finch. You know, she's wanting to carve her own path out there. She wants to be known as Malaya and not just because she's kin to Jenny Finch, but she's just a dominant player. She's dominant in hitting. She's dominant in pitching all of it and can't wait to watch her at Love Field. I think she's going to be an outstanding college softball player and can't wait to watch her. Patty continues her trend uh, and ability to be able to get players on campus and then land them very quickly. You talked about uh, Malaya Finch being uh, on campus back in August, and here we are September 16th, and the commitment, the verbal commitment has been announced. Uh, you could see on Twitter uh, th that announcement. And, and Jay, Patty Gasso, people were, people were saying, you know, how much longer is Patty Gasso going to be here at Oklahoma? The statue is up, and Patty Gasso is not slowing down. She's going to continue to recruit at a high level. And this is just another great example. That's right. That's right. And you're getting another outstanding pitcher and one that'll, I mean, I, I don't know. When you talk about pitchers that OU have recruited over the last probably five years, I mean, Jordy Ball is the name that stands out as just purely dominant. Because and we'll see what Audrey Lowry does. We'll see what Audrey Lowry does. That's right. We'll see what Audrey Lowry does. I think she could be the next great one. But you haven't – Kirsten Dill, you haven't got to see a whole lot yet, so it'll be interesting. But, uh, man, just can't wait till Malaya gets there and get to watch her in action. Yeah, so uh, commitment announcement. Malaya Majum Finch uh, committing to the University of Oklahoma. Make sure you subscribe to the Sooner Surge. You like the content. You comment uh, in the videos. You can check out how to become a Sooner Surge Unlimited member by checking the links in the description of videos. And make sure you sign up for the Shirt of the Month Club. Go to Fanstop at thefanstop.com. Use code SURGE for 10% off your first three months. Fall ball will be here before you know it. It'll be softball time in Oklahoma as they join the SEC. And we're here for it all. Make sure you are too. Till next time. Boomer.